長2000億個もの細胞たちが毎日毎日24時間365日元気に働いています We moved and this is the view that we have from the balcony of where we currently live in. It's actually a really nice view, even without all the snow, it looks quite nice. As you can see from the boxes and everything around, we haven't managed to sort things out yet, but uh, <laughs> It will happen very soon, at least all the clothes, my clothes, this is my camera bag, my clothes are more or less sorted out. And these here are mostly John's clothes and then some other miscellaneous things. And then outside, let me see if I can try to get it. Yeah, this is how it looks like outside. So basically you have a balcony and from here you can see the view of the water out there. If I zoom in, you can kind of see how it looks like. And this is the view from where I usually sit. So when I sit at my desk, this is what I usually see. It's actually really pretty, on camera you don't really see it, but I think it's just so nice. Some deers decided to show up. Actually I've seen these deers a few times before and it was hunting season and I hadn't seen them since hunting season and I was quite scared about you know what might have happened to them but I'm really happy so happy to see them again today and then <laughs> and now they're staring at Guy like what the hell <laughs> Hello cookies, it's Siri. I am back and we are heading for a new Europe road trip and I am bringing you along. My hair looks like I'm wearing a wig. It's not a wig, it's my real hair and today I decided to go crazy. John said that I look like Medusa, but it's okay. We are heading for a Europe road trip. It's going to be super fun. And since we made the schedule much more relaxed, I hope that I'm going to be able to film much more. Five hours later and we are back to the house. Two and a half hours, Ian John realized that we forgot Talos' passport and we actually need his passport to travel around Europe. So we had to drive back and that was two and a half hours again. So that's five hours and back to the house. The good news is we saved money on this and this is floss. I realized as well at the same time that I forgot to bring my dental floss and we were about to drive into a pharmacy to buy some dental floss so we did save money on dental floss but now we have to spend some money on five hours of gas extra and I mean we just lost five hours it's late I'm exhausted we were supposed to already be at the hotel now but at least we got my floss yay I don't think my camera can catch it properly, but the moon is just so gorgeous tonight. Oh, I love it. We just arrived in Yon Shopin. This is the hotel. This is how the hotel looks like. It's actually really pretty. I like it. It's cozy. This is the hotel room from the entrance on the left here. You have this to so hang your clothes, put your things, and then further in a mirror, a talos. The talos is not included. He's not happy right now because John is downstairs picking up some more items from the car, and that's his favorite human, so he misses him. Then further in, you see the room. Here you have a table, 
that is actually extremely simple for a hotel. I'm not really used to such simple furniture, but I mean it's a table so it works, obviously. And then here you have something that I really appreciate. It's a dog bed, towels, and I mean you can basically see what it is. I really like when hotels make sure that you do understand that pets are actually welcome. I think that's such a nice gesture. Plus I think we are paying between 25 to 30 dollars extra per dog and then the bed. I'm not really happy with the bed because I'm not a big fan of when there is a separation so it looks like it's two tiny beds they put together because one of us is always bound to end up here in the middle and just sinking in so not a big fan of that otherwise I think the room seems Okay, nothing too fancy, but it works. This is the bathroom and it's simple, but it's clean. John just used it, so that's why it looks like that. A big mirror. I like that there's some lights around. That's good if you're applying makeup. And then a toilet that is clean, simple and clean. Someone is still trying to fit on the tiny bed. I really do think it's a bit too small for you, baby. Tell us. Hey, are you happy? Do you like the bed? <laughs> I think it's too small for you. Are you comfy? You can sleep on the bed with us if you want, if yours is too tiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but you look cute on the tiny bed. It's 2 a.m. and we are having a crisis. We are going to be in Copenhagen tomorrow and we still don't have a hotel. So John is desperately trying to find us a hotel or confirm. He's lucky the computer is hiding his private area. Since it's almost 3 a.m. I'm just going to wash my face and do my evening routine. This is basically for really dry skin and I use it almost all over my face because my face gets really dry. So that's just basically what I have in the evening. All clean and moisturized. Now it's time to sleep. I have my old pajamas on. I've had these since I was 12 years old. Bought them with my grandma second hand actually at this open market in Madagascar. And there are some holes in it. <laughs> But it's really comfy and I really like it. And yes, I'm all shiny. It's 3 a.m. or maybe almost 4 a.m. now, so it's time to go to bed. Bon nuit, cookies! Someone decided that my bed is now his bed. Are you really going to sleep there, monsieur? That's actually my bed! Where am I even going to sleep now? See how he just ignored me? Really? Tell us. Tell us. I told you you could sleep on the bed, but that's my side. Or at least you could go a bit further down. Seriously? Are you really going to hug the bed like that? Ah. <sighs> John is already sleeping over there. <laughs> Where am I going to sleep? So just in my waterline. And this is the makeup look by the window. I think this looks the best even though there's not much natural daylight. I found my earrings. Yes, I'm excited about that.